Come rolling whenever you're ready, bro. My name's Dusty, and this is my story. Almost my entire life, I've battled addiction with drugs and alcohol. I was that guy standing on the side of the road with a sign asking you for money. I was that family member who was going in and out of prison for years. It's been uh, a reoccurring theme uh, for the past uh, 25, 28 years. Uh, it's, it's pretty much all I've known uh, is chaos. Chaos is uh, no direction. Uh, not knowing where to go, uh, what to do, who to be. Uh, it just feels like it's, it's just kind of always been uh, that way. Yeah. Shit start taking a really bad turn. Uh, I would say early, early teenage years. I never really uh, understood or knew who I was uh, as a person. I was always a, a, a kind of a chameleon. Uh, I always tried to be who I thought you wanted me to be. Just never felt really comfortable in my skin. And uh, I was always uh, seeking um, something, anything, uh, whether it be, you know, uh, getting into trouble, something that excited me or something that altered my, um, you know, my reality, something to make me comfortable. I think I accepted it. Um, years ago and and then just kind of didn't care about it anymore i was like okay this is my life this is the way it's going to be um i'm always going to be getting into trouble um i'm always going to be going you know in and out of jail uh i'm always going to be an alcoholic it's just kind of like a fuck it attitude this is my life and there's going to be no end to it um yeah, man, and that's the whole thing about addiction, bro. Is 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 that you kind of you kind of don't understand that. Uh, you always think that you can come at it at a different angle uh, and, and and handle it different the next time. Uh, you know, I won't drink during the week. Uh, you know, I'll I'll try and only drink on the weekends, and uh, so you never really until you concede, uh, you don't really understand that. Um, that there's a problem, you know. Um, I was I was the guy who was flying the sign on the side of the street. Uh, spent uh, 10 years of my life behind bars, um, all due to alcohol and and drugs and the decisions that that I made. But every single felony that I have ever copped was was the direct result of being inebriated or completely fucked up on drugs, you know. I'm in prison, I'm 19 years old, man. I know, man, when I get out this time, I'm not going back, it's not happening. And every single time, and that's, that's the bitch of addiction, right? Every single time, man, um, knowing damn well where this road is gonna lead me, I pick up that needle again, I pick up that bottle again. That's why it's so hard to, to dig yourself up out of that hole. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've pulled uh, the roof down on my head and had to start over. I've lived so many different lives. It's unreal, dude. Like, if I think about it, I think about past lives, man. It doesn't even seem like me five years ago. Ten years ago, that doesn't even seem like the person I was, you know. I've lived so many lives, dude. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Sometimes even wanting it enough ain't enough, you know. Sucks sometimes and you just and that's where you're at that fucking at that point where you're, you're tipping point where you're like i'm just fucking done there's no fucking way out of this dude you know what i mean i'm fucking gonna end it man because i can't fucking not wake up every goddamn day and just fucking suffer there's so much trauma and fucking wreckage in everybody's fucking past um that's kind of programmed um that's kind of programmed us and made us who we are today. And it's so hard to, to shift that fucking paradigm, right? It's, it's so hard to fucking, to come out of that way of thinking. Um, and I think that that's where the meat of the work's at, you know? Take away the drugs and alcohol and uh, 
What are you left with? You're left with you. I just... I'd have to say, man, if, uh, if there's anybody out there struggling, man, um, that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I couldn't see that light for the longest time, man. Running and gunning for 25 fucking years um, and not knowing uh, how to stop, where to go, who to talk to, who to turn to. I didn't even know who the fuck I was. Um, but there's light, man. There's light at the end of that tunnel. And I can tell you that from experience, man. Um, you know, it's just gonna take some work. And, and, uh, and that work just continues and it continues and it continues. But, you know, how much work was it for me to get out of prison, uh, get a job, um, and, and build my life back up just to tear it back down? just to build it back up again. How much work has that been in the last 25 years? So the work that I've done to get where I'm at today, that ain't shit, man. I did whatever I had to do to, uh, to get past this thing. Um, and was I perfect doing it? Hell no. No, I wasn't perfect. Did I stumble? You bet your ass I did. Yeah, I stumbled. Um, but. Uh, Every time you fall and every time I failed, man, I just picked myself back up, man. And then let that beat me down. And what that looks like today, man, is uh, that I own a home. Um, you know, I've got a, a great start to, to a career um, that at this present moment that I absolutely love with a great group of guys. We really think that you're the best guy for the job. <laughs> this is the regular guy. This is the regular guys. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ben. I'm Dusty. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's unbelievable, man. Uh, to have a relationship, uh, the relationship that I do today that is supportive, uh, loving, and caring, um, I never knew that that existed. Not through my childhood uh, and, and not through any of my recent years, uh, I never knew what it was to actually feel uh, supported and loved. The universe is, has, uh, has blessed me with a wife who is all of that for me. Not only that, but I'm mending relationships with my family. Articulate what? I don't know how to articulate that. Where I'm at today, as far as the the monetary shit goes, the truck, the house, the motorcycle, the job, what the fuck ever, right? Like, um, that's cool. Um, but that's not what fucking matters. That's not what matters. Uh, what matters is, is, is all the shit internally, man. What matters is that you feel all right. What matters is the work that you do. What matters is this. Uh, what matters is now. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we got is right now. All that shit in the past is done. All that shit in the future is just a story you're making up in your fucking head. The only thing that matters is right now. As long as we're fucking thinking, there's always gonna be some type of suffering, man. It's just how you are able to kind of fucking, to manage it, you know? There's hope. It's there, man. If you want it and you're fucking sick and tired of being sick and tired, there's fucking hope. And I'm proof.